Although for the general public, metals are the most durable materials, engineers know that this is not the case. Without specialized coatings or lubricants, wear, deformation and corrosion inevitably occur when repeatedly rubbing against other metals. The engineers at Sandia National Laboratories in Albuquerque, New Mexico, have been studying this problem and a new mechanical approach to friction wear has led them to develop an alloy of platinum and gold that they claim is the most wear-resistant metal in the world. As it is estimated, it is 100 times more durable than high-strength steel, and is in the same class as diamond and sapphire. In general, it is believed that wear resistance is related to hardness. However, Sandia's team proposed a new theory that states that wear is related to the way metals react to heat. Using computer simulations to calculate how individual atoms were affecting the large-scale properties of the material, particularly how they affected the stability of the nanocrystalline structure of the alloy, they chose a mixture of 90% platinum with 10% gold. The alloy was made using high-tech methods, depositing films atom by atom using a magnetron. The structure of these films consisted of columns with grain sizes of approximately 40 nanometers. The alloy looks like pure platinum, silver white in color and a little heavier than gold, and although it's no harder than other platinum gold alloys, it withstands heat and wear much better. But the alloy showed an unexpected property. By measuring their properties in the slip tests, the team noticed that a black film formed on the surface of the alloy. This turned out to be a diamond-like carbon, a highly efficient solid lubricant used in high-performance internal combustion engines. Normally, this requires special conditions for manufacturing, but in the newly developed alloy, it arises spontaneously. The alloy could be very important for the electronics industry, where sliding metal contacts are common components in many devices. Because these contacts tend to be very small, they wear out quickly and require expensive protective coatings or be replaced regularly. The use of the superdurable alloy, although it is made of expensive materials, could save hundreds of millions of dollars each year in materials. However, its usefulness is not limited to that. The alloy could have applications in many other industries, including aerospace systems and wind turbines. In addition, the discovery of carbon similar to diamond could lead to simpler and cheaper ways of manufacturing this lubricant material.